Eat machines. You either love them or you hate them. And this one is uh, not so happy. It has like a billion viruses on it, so. Eh. We're gonna just. Uh, it's my like second time opening it. I only checked to see what parts it had back at the store. And, uh. Whoa! Purple motherboard. That is, uh. That is intriguing. That is actually really intriguing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on flat. And. Yeah, hopefully y'all can see that alright. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can get that a bit better. No, I don't think that's any better. Alright, so let's just start off here with how much RAM I have. Hope you like these cinematic shots with the back of my head. And, uh, yeah, not so great. Only one gigabyte. Ah, that'll be enough to run Windows 11, totally. And uh, this hard drive will definitely have to go. Weirdest screw to exist. Um. Oh. E-machines. Okay. I'm just going to kind of unscrew this here. And I have a 256 gigabyte. Uh, don't know what system is on it. Hard drive. Mystery. I think it has seven on it. And if it has seven on it, it's one of my hard drives, so I need to get a different one. And I just dropped a screwdriver. Actually, I should be showing this. Nice. How many times can I drop a screwdriver in five minutes? Editor, start a counter. Okay, it's like the fifth time. Almost dropped it there. I'm not winning against my editor. Which is me. Okay, we have a... Seagate, 256 gigabytes. Wow! That is so huge. Gets crap out of my house. Okay. We will be right back with a hard drive. Alright, I'm back with this uh, 500 gigabyte certified by Gal hard drive. And uh, yeah, this should work fine. If I'm not mistaken, there's Hackintosh on this. That'll be interesting to see what the e-machine does. Yeah. Alright, just gonna pop that in there. And does it fit? Of course it doesn't, because we're putting e-machine hardware in a, in a frickin' er, we're putting Dell hardware in an e-machine. Actually, it kinda does fit. That's shocking. Look at that. That third hole doesn't fit. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, and that is a Dell hard drive secured in an e machine. How convenient. Okay, this. Cables. <laughs> it seems some better days, but it'll it work. And uh, this CP probably needs to be uh, refermal pasted. So.
I'm back with an AMD Fire Pro W4 300. Um, why is this still unscrewed? Does it even matter if I just kind of... Uh... No, it doesn't. I mean, this CPU will literally not screw in. I think it's like kind of in. I'm definitely in the shop, but I have to look at this. All right, now that that's in, time for this thing. There's actually a 16x slot on the motherboard. Yay! Pull that out. And, uh, I mean, I do have this. I wanted to get some Wi-Fi on here. I have a Wi-Fi card. But just for the sake of it, we'll be running off of Ethernet for now. And this is not fit because of the way this is, so, uh, uh, yeah. Unscrewing montage. That does not work. I enjoy doing videos. You don't want people to see my Pac-Man pants? Why can this not come off? Man pants. Waka waka. Alright, well I got the th dingus off while breaking the metal a tiny bit. Doesn't matter. Um... It should just, uh, yeah, but if I lock that, that will probably not do anything, kind of does. We have a dedicated graphics card and an e-machine from 2006 or 7. Look at you, little buddy, you're gonna be something one of these days, I don't know. And this fan is just not making me happy. But I have to deal with it. I mean, I gotta go all out, right? I can't just leave this ram that tiny amount. I have to go this full amount. And get at least four gigs. I know that's a requirement for Windows 11. Three gigs works. It's only one gigabyte below. I mean, I can bypass that with Rufus.
this went from or this went from restoring an old e machine to how to build a gaming computer from your grandma's attic. Sounds something that Linus Tech Tips would do, but they would still use a newer computer, and I'm using a what a Celeron D. Celeron D's nuts. Why this is not fit? I literally called it seller on these nuts. There we go. It actually fits, so it's a bit loose. But I'm just gonna. Don't judge me. I'm just gonna. I'll do it. Oh wow, that is nice. Look at that. I cut myself. Okay. Now that's the stay super glue. Guess it just needs to dry for a bit. Um, what else can I add to this hunk of metal? Never hard drive. So I wanted to add a never hard drive, but it turns out they don't have any. So, this will do. This is a uh, Ethernet card. Yay! Now, I think it just goes into the slot. There we go, BIOS! So, uh, yeah, Alright, so. That, 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 that. I need. That's not... Where is it? Advanced. I just got the USB for my right. server. Hard drive proprietary. Right here. USB from the server. This light's probably blinding y'all, so I'm gonna move this down a bit. Is that better? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna put the USB in that port here. And we'll just, uh. Okay, it's on. I don't know what to press. I'm probably in the camera shop there. Let's see what it wants me to press. Am I still in that camera shop? So, it is legitimately the next day, guys. It has taken me this long to figure out what was wrong with this computer. Um, as you saw by that, it was, you probably did not see the Windows logo for too long because I cut most of this part out. But we will be trying to bun you now, so I'm just gonna stick this in here. There we go. I'm gonna spam F10. There we go. Hard drives. Then we'll do this one. That, okay, welcome to Grub. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And then we'll do that. And let's see if I get something.
guys, so this is finally done. I'm gonna try to move this a bit closer here. Oh, whoops. Eh. Alright, so we got a good camera angle here. Of it being done installing, so. Yeah, alright, so we're just gonna restart now. Alright. I don't know why it's being so loud, but okay. What? Okay, there we go, that was weird. So we have a little cursor in the corner, frozen Ubuntu logo. Last drive is blinking a lot, a lot. Please remove the installation media and press enter. Alright, I'm gonna turn this light back on for now. So we have the installation media right here, and I'm just gonna go. There we go. Alright, let's play some games it's on old hardware. Come on. The literal screen light's just on. I don't know if you can see that. It's just on. I can't tell if the hard drive's doing anything or not because there's no processing light for some reason. Okay, I think we're frozen, so I'm gonna do this. The power completely off. I'm gonna have to blur that. Okay, it upscaled it for some reason. This is Windows 11 on a oh, okay. Spray out, oh, I bonked the mouth. Or, yeah, the tripod. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna play Sky Wars on the frickin' E machine. Sky Wars. Sky Wars. Oh, with the whole background. Okay, we're about to see some cringy stuff on here. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, my old intro and outro is on here. Oh god, we have Audacity. The old SCP world. My old redstone testing world. Okay, everything's on here. Should probably not be screwing with this hard drive, but whatever, for the views.
it, 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 it's frozen. It, it's frozen. Wow. It's frozen. Okay. It is frozen. So you know what? Like, I hear it clicking, but it's not doing anything. So, bye bye. Die. There we go. Give me my USB back and give me my hard drive back. I see, give me, oh my, okay. Give me my hard drive back. Give me my hard drive back. Actually, give me my hard drive back. If this video hits two likes, I'll try to get you, I'll try to get Linux working so we can actually game on it. Like, subscribe. Bye.